Greetings, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video on emotion regulation. This video is part of our learning module addressing test anxiety and is part of the self-regulation section in our three categories of skill, will, and self-regulation. This video focuses on the what and how to feel better when dealing with challenges such as test anxiety. What are emotions? Well, according to Dr. Klaus Scherer, Professor Emeritus at the University of Geneva, he defines emotions, stating, emotion is conceptualized as an emergent, dynamic process based on an individual's subjective appraisal of significant events. This definition, for which he has developed his component process model of emotion, suggests a synchronization of various physical and mental pieces. His model expands on the ABC Cognitive Model by Dr. Albert Ellis, founder of Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, and the Cognitive Model as proposed by Dr. Aaron Beck, the founder of Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. In the ABC Model, Dr. Ellis suggests that A, the activating event, is filtered through our beliefs, or the B, which results in C, the consequences or perspective. Dr. Beck, borrows from Dr. Ellis's ABC model and further suggests feelings are a subsequent response to events and thoughts. So generally, we could say that things happen, we think about these things, and then we have an emotional response to these events all by the time you could snap your fingers. So what about negative emotions? Well, often negative emotions stem from unmet expectations or things not going as our minds predicted they would go. Our brains do not like change. Mark Humphreys, a neuroscience researcher with the Humphreys Lab, writes about prediction error theory, stating that dopamine neurons, like people, are deeply upset by their routines being violated. Humphrey further states that when your mind perceives a prediction error, that dopamine neurons send a rapid signal that covers all three possible errors in predicting a reward. That the reward was better than expected, a positive error. That the reward was exactly as expected, no error. Or that the reward was less than expected, a negative error. So essentially, we like routine and we like to be right. But what if we're wrong? The relationship between dopamine and the reward prediction error, or getting something for your brain figuring stuff out, is called reinforcement learning. You can think of this as teaching our brain through rewards or incentives. So, yay, you were right, or yay, you figured out how to solve it. But there are obstacles to figuring it out. So, we might call that unrealistic expectations. When we create an expectation such as I've studied a whole lot, so I'm going to get an A on this test. Well, that's what we expect. And let's say the result is less than an A. Well, that's the error. The brain then responds with a flood of neurotransmitters that create the subsequent emotional response, which could be called dysregulation or disappointment, because what we predicted did not occur. So how can we address this prediction error? Well, one way that might help us by creating what I call great expectations or more reasonable expectations that are compassionate to our human selves. To expect things from ourselves that are unrealistic or unattainable, such as I'm superhuman and cannot make a mistake, this sets a precedent that is not realistic and unattainable. And it is the antithesis of compassion and understanding. Now, to be compassionate and understanding might be something like this. I've studied a whole lot, and I'm going to do my best. This perspective sets up a prediction that includes understanding that there are elements of the unknown in every part of life, and that you're going to be understanding and compassionate to yourself regardless of the outcome. Now what about those negative feelings? Well, challenge them. Challenge those thoughts and feelings through compassion and creating realistic expectations that can help you reduce stress and anxiety, and it will likely produce better future outcomes. This is more likely to support success than beating yourself up with negative thoughts and feelings about unmet expectations. Well, another way that 
You can regulate emotions in a positive way is through optimism and building a healthy sense of self. By developing strong value, or strong self-value, you will focus on your intrinsic value as a person rather than in fulfilling the expectations from roles that we fill. Optimism helps to build on positive self-value through positive thinking and positive speech, which creates a positive outlook, even during difficult times. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you find it helpful. And if you, for any reason, would like to talk to someone uh, about any of these uh, ideas or these thoughts or for any reason, please do not hesitate to reach out to your student counseling services team. We are here to help. Thank you so much and be well.